it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video and today we are going to be back on Dad's Farm V2. Today we are going to be doing some corn planting. Um, so we're getting ready to roll out here with the planter. Don't know why, but I'm getting a lot of like leg issues and screen tear issues. Uh, I do have a video editing, so that's probably why. Shoot, I'm not on my GPS course. Well, that sucks. <laughs> wow. Just wow. That's all I got to say. There we go. Let's bring this down to 12. We'll go to 14. Right, so let's get this set up for a screenshot. Go. Cool. So yeah, um, our wheat is in stage one of the growth cycle. Let's bring this up and see see that it is a uh, nice blue we'll so get rid of that and really technically we don't need um, our uh, ridge markers since we are not doing freehand work I was running it with GPS. So yeah, this is the DV60 planner from Banks.Inc. Modding. Uh, very, very fun planter. I do want to add a uh, tool camera to it. I need to go back in and do that. Maybe I'll do that uh, for the next time. Uh, I probably won't do it today or tomorrow, but do it uh, before I record again. So this is the third and final video that I'm recording today. Uh, I've got one of the videos edited uh, and ready to upload. One video is ready to start editing or encoding, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we can actually get that running. Hopefully it doesn't kill our frames too bad. Um, so then uh, once I'm done recording this and that video is done editing, and I can uh, be done editing and then I just gotta work on getting them uploaded and uh, we are gonna do a bunch of in cab work for this a lot of people have been requesting that I do in more in cab and uh, you guys are gonna get your wish for this episode I try and do as much in cab stuff as I can but you know just I kinda try and limit it some uh, just because a lot of people don't like it, so you know, gotta try and please everybody, I guess. There we go. Continue while I'm planting. Um, I might, I don't know, uh, trade this tractor in on an 8220. Uh, I think Velcro on. Port from the headset sticking my foot. Um, might trade it in on an 8220. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just see here. I don't know which tractor I have. I have a lot of 8Rs. So this is obvious. Why did I even look that up? That's 370 horsepower. I don't get why I just looked that up because it's kind of self explanatory. An 8370R is 370 horsepower. Uh, the 8220 is 320 horsepower, so it's a little smaller, I guess, but it uh, is a very nice tractor as well as this tractor is very nice as well. I don't 
know how much I've used this tractor. I've got so many different 8370Rs from different people that it's hard to keep track of anymore. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, this has dirt. I can see it uh, starting to form right there. So yeah, we'll do a lot of in cab work uh, this episode. We'll also be doing some out of cab for you, those of you that uh, don't like the in cab stuff. Uh, I just gotta try and switch it up. Put our front duels on. Eh, no, no, no. I don't like the front duels. Rear duels only is fine for me. That's how a lot of the tractors around here are run anyways, with uh, just rear duels. Not a whole lot of them have uh, front and rear duels on them. And yeah, now we are going to be at a slant because of the dirt, the plowed dirt here. You see our planter is actually sitting there flexing pretty well. It's also starting to get pretty dirty. And I don't know what the dirt duration is set to on here. Just making sure I'm recording because the last episode I had been doing something then it suddenly quit recording. So, it's kind of annoying. So hopefully we can pick up this little section here and not miss anything. Yep, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I probably should have done a headland, but I didn't, so... Yeah, the best way to start planting is to get this tractor, get a run before, you know, get it going somewhat fast before the planter lowers all the way down, and then turn it on, uh, because this planter, it starts out slow with any tractor, really, but then once you get going, then you can run it pretty well. Um, I know the that MD865E that did not like this planter. I was pulling it up a little tiny hill on Westbridge and it just like completely stalled. And I don't know why. I mean, that's a pretty powerful tractor to be able to pull this. I mean, this 8370R is pulling it and that Challenger has like, I don't know, four or 500 horsepower or something like that. I know it's got a lot. But yeah. Um, Banks definitely did a great job on this planter. I'm super happy to finally have a nice DB. Would also be nice to have a 120. Uh, but I know that there is a DB120 out there, but it's really not that great. I mean, it works okay, but uh, it's not the greatest model, really. Um, so... I'm not using it. I did download it and try it out, but it just wasn't for me. So I uh, deleted it. But this DB60 runs pretty well for me, so we shall run it. Uh, I got some other smaller John Deere planters for, you know, smaller maps, so I'm all set. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this tractor has dirt. It kind of looks like it's forming uh, underneath of the John Deere symbol, so I guess we shall find out. This planter uses a lot of seed. Crazy. Already half, already used half the cedar, and we're only three passes in. Well, it's more realistic that way because you, know, you don't have a planter where 
three, four passes in and you're still like 98% full or something. So this is very well done. Um, I know he said he's working on a version 3. So I don't know. Not sure what all he's changing. Um, I think he added a tool camera to version 3. I think. And I think he changed the wheels or something like that. Uh, did some other stuff. Uh, I don't know if that version is going to get released as well. But if not... I don't really care. Uh, this version works just fine for me. I do need to go in and add uh, some wheel mass to it so that way it doesn't slide around so much. Um, when you're driving it slides around a lot so I need to go add some wheel mass to it but other than that it's a great 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 planter. That and so, yeah, for the next video that I record, I'll make sure that I uh, get wheel mass added to it and tool camera. And there will be some pretty neat additions. Ugh. And turn the planter on and off like that. Not sure what that one's doing. Anything? The beacon. Open the back window. Nope. Open the door. Should have waited to do that. <laughs> oh well. Right, and I'm going to be right back, guys. Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> and the phone downstairs was ringing. Yeah, but it quit. <laughs> Probably a telemarketer, anyways. It's usually the only calls that we get there besides my sister's friends. Since my sister doesn't have a phone. I don't like how when you look at the tractor like this, you see all these white spots in the face. That's really, really annoying. I don't know what the deal is there. It must have been done quite right or something. No clue on that one. trying to not get into that wheat field um, this field's the only field where I'll have to worry about getting into any other crops uh, and it's just this side so it's nothing too bad line this message quick
<clears throat> See, I really don't know what to talk about anymore. Um, after talking for an hour, it kind of was like, well, now what do I talk about? So, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what to talk about. I'll probably be kind of silent now. So yeah, there's been a bunch of talk of the FS17 features. Um, I have not even taken a look at them because I'm not that worried about it. But um, you know, a lot of people are getting excited for it, but I don't see why. There's nothing to get excited about. It's 15 with changed graphics, changed uh, engine and different starting equipment really that's all oh, there is and the hydraulics are blue okay and purple that is weird but yeah um, like i said in my q a video i will be waiting for cattle and crops uh, and getting that instead uh, but yeah, um, and then like I was saying in another video, uh, probably one first one I recorded, hoping to get down to the farm very soon, uh, my papa's farm anyways, and, uh, get some pictures of the buildings, so that way I can get started on making the buildings for my map, and get cracking some more with it, with the map, and, uh, get some more progress made. Haven't done a lot on it lately. Um, just kind of been taking it slow since I don't have pictures of the buildings and stuff to do that yet. So, all right, let's see. We're gonna make it to the end. Let's hope. Got two percent left. Come on, make it to the end. Make it to the end. This thing uses a seed a lot faster than. Uh, the air seeder does, that's for sure. No, we're not gonna make it, I don't think. We'll be pretty close, but no dice. Oops, I don't wanna breathe that yet. Hit the wrong button. Now I can use it. Hold it up. Probably straighten this thing out first. Alright, let's go fill it back up. Get back to some soybeans. It's really going to be annoying if this tractor does not have dirt on it. I always hate that. I don't know if I can just refill like this or if I gotta turn. Yeah. Good, 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 good. It's so particular though in the spot that you fill. It's so annoying. Yeah, we're actually rolling right along with this. Um, these two fields going a lot faster than I thought it would. I mean, I knew it would go faster than air seeding uh, because we, uh, we're having about two or three times the swath or the pass, the width, whatever you want to call it. Uh. Um, let's just check on this. Alright. 
it's uh, getting there. Head on up here and uh, get back planting. I don't know if we'll be able to finish these fields in this video or not. go we are back at it yeah um, if I don't start seeing some dirt on this thing then I'm going to uh, trade it in on the 8220 because that I know has dirt oh man I miscalculated that one we are on field 9. So let's save this as 9. Save it. And then let's go trade this tractor in on an 8220. Uh, if you see we have $535,000. I use the external account mod or whatever mod it is. And uh, transferred money from a different save game to this one. Uh, I guess you could call it cheating, but we need a little extra money to help get us to harvest. Um, it's going to be a lot of work to get to harvest. Uh, we got a lot of planting and that kind of stuff ahead of us. A lot of planting, a lot of spraying, a lot of fertilizer spreading. So, we need to have the resources to be able to purchase that seed and chemical and uh, fertilizer so yeah we will go trade this in on 8220 and um, get back to planting not sure let me look here how much time we got left about six minutes so it's always nicer when I can record a video and not have to stop um, like with uh, the previous episode, episode 8, I had to do a lot of stopping in that one because uh, of game issues and then also had to switch some laundry. Uh, I have to switch it again, I think, but I'll wait until this is over. We're almost done. Just pulling in here now. Grab an 8220 and head on back to the field. So bye bye 82. 218,000. Jeez, that's going to almost pay for the tractor that we're going to buy. Oh, it did pay. It paid for the tractor and more. Jeez, that's crazy. All right. So this is the 8220. Let's get our door opened up here and hop in. So we got uh, rear duels on this thing. We don't have any front duels, sadly. It's just rear duels. We'll turn our mirrors on as well. Get our front weight added. Then we gotta bring our steering wheel down and close our door. Actually, let's leave that open. We can check out the uh, brains inside of this beast. Let's see if we can open the hood. And what else can I do? I know there's... Ugh, my mouse died again. I need to put a new battery in this thing soon.
That goes. Um, and then we can open our back window, and that's all the features that we got. This is a lot nicer of a tractor than the 8370R as well. Uh, you guys can find this on Mod... Uh, I was going to say Mod Hoster, but... American Eagle's Modding. And that is where this tractor is at. <clears throat> very, very nicely done tractor. Uh, done by Rocketman. It's also very nice because he actually added tracks off of the duels. Um, most dual tractors, they don't actually have tire tracks on the duels. So it's very, very nice that he actually added that. Because um, it's a lot more realistic to actually have tire tracks coming off of your duels versus just one track and you have two tires on. It's kind of fishy. We need to load up the old mines, of course. We can delete that right away. Turn all that junk off as well. And head on over here, hook up to the planter. Get back to it. Nope, that's not gonna work like I thought it would. It's funny thing with GPS is it always likes to go. It always likes to act goofy when you're. When you're, uh. Backing up. It takes a little bit of power to get this thing rolling too. Rolling with this tractor as well. We definitely got it uh, revving though. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's revving pretty high. I don't know if this thing has any. Yeah, it does. We're running 1,000 RPMs. Kind of revving up nice and nice and high. Uh, I definitely wish that it was scripted to use the right control button rather than space bar uh, because then you could use your in cab control or interactive control, whatever it's called. I know it's IC for short, but I don't know if it's in cab control or interactive control. One or two. Um, for some reason I have that seat was moving as I was scrolling. But, um, yeah, I wish it was set as space, or control, rather than space, uh, because with drive control, space changes your driving direction. Alright, so that's our half hour timer going off there. So yeah, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to finish off this field at today, hopefully. <clears throat> and then um, get... And then uh, when I get back home after camp, then I will be back to recording again. And then at that time, I'll be spacing the recordings out again. Uh, so yeah, the next video that you guys see, we will be working on corn more uh or beans more i mean jeez if i said corn anywhere else in this video i'm sorry i keep getting all screwed up with corn and beans but uh, i'm gonna finish this field off camera uh, and then next episode we will be working on field 12 and then we'll also be getting our spreader and eventually the sprayer uh get them working again so, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the videos. 
Uh, whether you're new to the channel or already subscribed, make sure that you turn on the post notifications and uh, be notified whenever I upload a new video. Video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time and Saturdays at noon Central Time. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs as well as my social media links as well as links to other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. So, enjoy the video. Be ready for another one.